The National Gallery of Ireland Irish, houses the national collection of Irish and European art. It is located in the centre of Dublin with one entrance on Marion Square, beside Leinster House, and another on Clare Street. It was founded in 1854 and opened its doors ten years later. The gallery has an extensive, representative collection of Irish paintings and is also notable for its Italian Baroque and Dutch Masters painting. The current director is Sean Rainbird. History In 1853 an exhibition, the Great Industrial Exhibition, was held on the lawns of Leinster House in Dublin. Among the most popular exhibits was a substantial display of works of art organised and underwritten by the railway magnate William Dargan. The enthusiasm of the visiting crowds demonstrated a public for art, and it was decided to establish a permanent public art collection as a lasting monument of gratitude to Dargan. The moving spirit behind the proposal was the barrister John Edward Pigott 1822 son of David Richard Pigott, chief baron of the Irish Exchequer, and he became one of the first governors of the gallery. The façade of the National Gallery copies the Natural History Building of the National Museum of Ireland which was already planned for the facing flank of Leinster House. The building itself was designed by Francis Fauci, based on early plans by Charles Lanyon, and was completed and opened in 1864. The gallery was not to found it around an existing collection, and when the gallery opened it had just 112 paintings. In 1866 an annual purchase grant was established and by 1891 space was already limited. In 1897, the Dowager Countess of Milltown indicated her intention of donating the contents of Rusborough House to the gallery. This gift included about 223 paintings, 48 pieces of sculpture, 33 engravings, much silver, furniture and a library, and prompted construction from 1899 to 1903 of what is now called the Milltown Wing, designed by Thomas Newenham Dean. At around this time Henry Vaughan left 31 watercolours by J.M.W. Turner with the requirement that they could only be exhibited in January, this to protect them from the ill effects of sunlight. Though modern lighting technology has made this stipulation unnecessary, the gallery continues to restrict viewing of the Vaughan bequest to January and the exhibition is treated as something of an occasion. Another substantial bequest came with the untimely death in the sinking of the Lusitania of Hugh Lane 1875 to 1915. Since 1914 director of the gallery, not only did he leave a large collection of pictures, he also left part of his residual estate and the Lane Fund has continued to contribute to the purchase of art works to this day. In addition to his involvement in the gallery, Hugh Lane has also hoped to found a gallery of modern art, something only realised after his death in Dublin City Gallery the Hugh Lane. George Bernard Shaw also made a substantial bequest, leaving the gallery a third of royalties of his estate in gratitude for the time he spent there as a youth. The gallery was again extended in 1962 with a new wing designed by Frank Dewberry of the Office of Public Works. This opened in 1968 and is now named the Bait Wing. In 1978 the gallery received from the government the paintings given to the nation by Chester Beatty and in 1987 the Sweeney bequest brought 14 works of art including paintings by Picasso and Jack B. Yeats. The same year the gallery was once again given some of the contents of Rusborough House when Alfred Bate donated 17 masterpieces, including paintings by Velázquez, Murillo, Steen, Vermeer and Rayburn. In the 1990s a lost Caravaggio, the taking of Christ, known through replicas, was discovered hanging in a Jesuit house of studies in Leeson Street in Dublin by Sergio Benedetti, senior conservator of the gallery. The Jesuits have generously allowed this painting to be exhibited in the gallery and the discovery was the cause of national excitement. The painting was on loan to an Italian gallery from February until July 2010 as part of Caravaggio's 400th anniversary. In 1997 Anne Yates donated sketchbooks by her uncle Jack Yates and the gallery now includes a Yates museum. Dennis Mayen, a well-known art critic, promised the gallery part of his rich collection and eight painting from his promised bequest are on permanent display, including Jacob Blessing the Sons of Joseph by Guercino. <laughs> List of directors George Mulvaney, 1862–69 Henry Doyle, 1869–92 Walter Armstrong, 1892–1914 
Hugh Lane, 1914 15, Robert Langton Douglas, 1916 23, Lucius O'Callaghan, 1923 27, Thomas Bodkin, 1927 35, George Furlong, 1935 50, Thomas McGreevy, 1950 63, James White, 1964 80, Homan Potterton, 1980 88, Raymond Keaveny, 1988 2012, Sean Rainbird, 2012 present. Topic Millennium Wing A new wing, called the Millennium Wing, was opened in 2002. Unlike the previous two extensions, this new wing has street frontage and the English architects Benson and Forsyth gave it an imposing Bowers Whitbed, Portland stone facade and grand atrium. The design originally involved demolishing an adjoining Georgian Terrace House and its ballroom muse, however, the Irish Planning Appeals Authority, and Board Plenala, required that they be retained. The Millennium Wing is not without its critics, it is unforgiving of poor maintenance and the compromise in the design as required by an board plenala resulted in a final design diluted from the original competition winning building concept. The circulation space also lacks clarity, but it is generally considered that these flaws are trivial details set against the drama of the building. In line with its brutalist style, the interior concrete walls are still unsealed. Master development plan In March 2011, the Office of Public Works OPW, in association with the gallery, commenced work on the historic complex at Marion Square to address a critical need for the repair and renovation of the fabric of the Dargan and Milltown wings, together with the provision of much-needed additional accommodation. The first phase of the works program involved the removal and replacement of the Dargan wing roof. The next two phases of the project involved the replacement of the Milltown wing roof, followed by an extensive upgrade of the fabric and services of the two buildings whilst reclaiming their original period elegance. Refurbishment of the two wings were completed in June 2017. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Location, access and facilities. The National Gallery of Ireland is located in the heart of Georgian Dublin. There are two entrances, one at Marion Square and the other at Clare Street. Admission to the gallery is free and many talks, tours and events as well as the audio guide are also free of charge. The gallery launched a free smartphone app in 2013. Dublin bus routes 4, 7 and 7A all pass by the gallery. The Pierce Street Dart station is 5 minutes on foot as is the Dawson stop on the green line of the Lewis. The Abbey Street stop of the Red Line of the Lewis is a 20-minute walk away. There are two Dublin bikes stations just outside the gallery, one at Clare Street and the other at Marion Square West. All galleries and entrances are wheelchair and buggy accessible and there are disabled parking spaces outside the Marion Square entrance. Tours for the visually and hearing impaired are regularly organized. Visitors with guide dogs are welcome in the gallery. The lecture theatre, AV room and gallery shop are all fitted with a loop system for the hearing impaired. Highlights The collection has about 14,000 artworks, including about 2,500 oil paintings, 5,000 drawings, 5,000 prints, and some sculpture, furniture and other works of art. Topic: Spanish. Luis de Morales, C. to 86, Saint Jerome in the Wilderness, 1570s. Giuseppe de Ribera, 1591, minus 1652, Saint Onufrius, late 1620s. Diego Velázquez, 1599 to 1660, kitchen maid with the supper of Emmaus, C. to 18. Francisco Zerberin (1598–1664), The Immaculate Conception, early 1660s. Bartolomé Esteban Murillo (1617–82), The Return of the Prodigal Son, c. 1660. Francisco José de Goya y Lucientes (1746–1828), Dona Antonia Zarate, c. 
1805–06 Pablo Ruiz Picasso (1881–1973), still life with mandolin 1924. Juan Gris (1887–1927), Piero 1921. Topic: French. Jacques Yverny flourished 1410 to 38. The Annunciation C.1435. Nicolas Poussin 1594 to 1665. ACIs and Galatea 1627 to 28. The Lamentation over the Dead Christ 1657 to 60. Jean Le Maire 1598 to 1659. Architecture landscape with classical figures 1627 to 30. Jean Baptiste Simeon Chardin, 1699 to 1779, still life. Two rabbits, a grey partridge, game bag, and powder flask, 1731. Jean Honoré Fragonard, 1732 to 1806, Venus and Cupid, Day C. 1755. Eugene Delacroix, 1798 to 1863, Demosthenes on the seashore, 1859. Gustave Corbett (1819–77), portrait of Adolphe Marlet (1851). Alfred Sisley (1819–99), the banks of the Canal du Loing at Saint Mamas (1888). Claude Monet (1840–1926), Argentoy Basin with a single sailboat (1874). Paul Signac (1863–1935), Lady on the Terrace (1898). Keys van Dongen (1877–1968), Stella in a flowered hat. C.1907. Chaim Soutine (1893–1943), landscape with the flight of stairs. C. 1922. Topic: <laughs> Italian. Master of Verrucchio (14th century). The Crucifixion, Noli mi tangere c.1330-40 Fra Angelico 1417-55 Estes Cosmas and Damien and their brothers surviving the stake c.1440-42 Zenobi Strozzi attribute to 1412-68 Assumption of the Virgin with Estes Jerome and Francis 1460s Filippino Lippi, 1457 to 1504, portrait of a musician late 1480s. Titian, c. 1485 90ths minus 1576, Ecce Homo, c. 1558 60ths. Giovanni Battista Moroni, before 1524 to 1578, portrait of a gentleman and his two children, c. 1570. Caravaggio 1571 to 1610 The Taking of Christ 1602 Guido Reni 1575 to 1624 The Suicide of Cleopatra C.1639 to 40 Domenichino 1581 to 1641 Saint Mary Magdalene C.1625 Gercino 1591 to 1666 Jacob blessing the sons of Jacob C.1620 Sassiferato 1609 to 85 Virgin and Child 1630s Luca Giordano 1634 to 1705 Venus Mars and the Forge of Vulcan 1660s Carlo Maratta 1625 to 1713 The Rape of Europa C 1680 to 5 Francesco Solomina 1657 to 1747 Allegory of Winter C.1690 Canaletto 1697 to 1768 St Mark's Square C 1756 Ugolino di Nerio early 14th century Prophet Isaiah Paolo Uccello 1397 to 1475 Virgin and Child German and Swiss Salzburg School Christ on the Cross with the Virgin Mary and John C.1430 Master of the Youth of St. Romold St. Romold taking leave of his parents c. 1490 Georg Pench active 1500 Portrait of a Gentleman 1549 
Angelica Kaufman (1741–1807), The Ely Family (1771), Emil Nolda (1867–1956), Two Women in a Garden (1915). Topic: Flemish. Peter Bruegel the Younger, 1564c.1637, Peasant Wedding, 1620. Peter Paul Rubens, 1577 to 1640, Saint Peter Finding the Tribute Money, 1617 to 18. Jacob Jordanes, 1593 to 1678. The Veneration of the Eucharist, c.1630. The Supper at Emmaus, c.1645 to 65. Anthony Van Dyke, 1599 to 1641, a boy standing on a terrace, c. 1623 to 24. Topic: Dutch. Marinus van Ramerswijle, attributed c.1490, 95 c.1567, the calling of Matthew c.1530 to 40. Jarrett van Hunthorst (1590–1656), a musical party C.1616–18. Rembrandt and Studio (1606–69), Le Main Chaud C.1628. Willem Cornelis Dijster (1599–1635), Interior with Soldiers (1632). Albert Cuyp (1620–91), Milking Cows (1640s). Matthias Stomer, 1600 after 1650, The Arrest of Christ, c. 1641. Rembrandt, 1606 to 69, Landscape with the Rest on the Flight into Egypt, 1647. Willem Drost, 1652 to 80, Bust of a Man Wearing a Large Brimmed Hat, c. 1654. Anthony de Lorme, 1610 to 73, Interior of Saint Lawrence Kirk, Rotterdam, c. 1660 to 65. Gabriel Metsu, 1629 to 67. Man writing a letter, c. 1663. Woman reading a letter, c. 1663. Jan Steen, 1625 26th 79. The Village School C.1665 The Marriage Feast at Cana 1665 to 70 Johannes Vermeer 1632 to 75 Lady writing a letter with her maid C 1670 Cornelius Troost 1696 to 1750 Geronimus Tunman and his son Geronimus 1736 Nicolaes de Gieseler interior with figures Emmanuel de Witt church interior Franz Hal's Fisher Boy with Basket. Topic: <inaudible> British and American. William Hogarth, 1697 to 1764. The Western Family C.1738. The Mackinnon Children C.1747. Thomas Gainsborough, 1727 to 88. A view in Suffolk C.1746. Mrs. Christopher Horton, 1743 to 1808, later Duchess of Cumberland, 1766. The Cottage Girl, 1785. Joshua Reynolds, 1723 to 92. Parody of Raphael's School of Athens, 1751. The Temple Family, 1780 to 82. Oh my 1776 on loan from a private collection Charles Coote the first Earl of Bellamont 1776 Henry Rayburn 1756 to 1823 Sir John and Lady Clerk of Pennycook 1791 George Romney 1734 to 1802 Titania Puck and the Changeling from Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream 1793 John Singer Sargent 1856 to 1925 The Bead Stringers of Venice 1880 to 82 Stanley Royal 1888 to 1961 The Goose Girl C 1921 Francis Wheatley 1747 to 1801 The Dublin Volunteers on College Green the 4th of November 1779 1779 to 80 
Andrew Festing, 1941 present. Topic: Irish. Kevin Abosh, photographer, 1969. Portrait of Brian O'Driscoll, 2011. James Barry, 1741 to 1806. The Temptation of Adam, 1767 to 70. Self-portrait as Timmons C.1780-1803 The Death of Adonis Augustus Nicholas Burke 1838-1891 Connemara Girl 1865 Nathaniel Hone the Elder 1718-84 The Conjurer 1775 Hugh Douglas Hamilton 1740-1808 Frederick Hervé, Bishop of Derry and 4th Earl of Bristol 1730-1803, with his granddaughter Lady Caroline Crichton 1779-1856, in the gardens of the Villa Borghese, Rome C.1790 Francis Danby 1793-1861 The opening of the Sixth Seal, 1828 Daniel MacLeis (1806–1870), The Marriage of Strongbow and Aoife (1854). Sarah Purser (1848–1943), Le Petit Déjeuner (1881). Roderick O'Connor (1860–1940), Le Jeune Breton C.1895. Walter Osborne (1859–1903), Dublin Streets, a vendor of books, 1889, in a Dublin park, light and shade, C.1895. John Lavery (1856–1941), The Artist's Studio, Lady Hazel Lavery with her daughter Alice and stepdaughter Eileen, 1909–13. Paul Henry (1876–1958), launching the Curragh, 1910–11. William John Leach (1881–1968), Convent Garden, Brittany C.1912. Sean Keating (1889–1977), An Allegory C.1922. Mamie Jellet (1897–1944), Decoration 1923. Gerard Dillon (1916–1971), The Little Green Fields C. 1945. Louis Le Brocqui, 1916, A Family, 1951. William Orpin, 1878 to 1931, Portrait of John Count McCormick, 1923. Topic: The Yates Collection. Jack B. Yates, 1871 to 1957. Bachelor's Walk, in memory 1915, on loan from a private collection. The Liffey Swim 1923. A Morning in a City 1937. Grief 1952. John Butler Yates, 1839 to 1922. John O'Leary 1904. Topic: <laughs> Drawings and watercolors. James Malton, 1760 to 1803, The Custom House. Joseph Mallard William Turner, 1775 to 1851, Fishing Boats on Folkestone Beach. Dante Gabriel Rossetti, 1828 to 82, Jane Burden as Queen Guinevere, 1858. Frederick William Burton, 1816 to 1900, Hellalil and Hildebrand, The Meeting on Turret Stairs, 1864-1864. James Abbott McNeil Whistler (1834–1903), Nocturne in Grey and Gold, Piccadilly, 1881–83. Edgar Degas (1834–1917), Two Ballet Dancers in a Dressing Room. Pablo Ruiz Picasso (1881–1973), Two Dancers, 1925. Topic Library and Archive Collections The Library and Archive Collections at the National Gallery of Ireland encompass unique and historically significant collections for the study of art history. The origins of the collections can be traced back to the foundation of the institution over 160 years ago. Covering the visual arts from the classical to the contemporary these collections continue to be a vital research element of the national collection. The development of the library and archive has been supported principally through public funding and the private donations of generous benefactors. 
Open to the public, it has particularly rich holdings relating to the history of Western European art from the Middle Ages on, and the collections relating to Irish and Italian art are extensive. The collection amounts to over 100,000 published volumes, in addition to significant archival holdings. <laughs> 